You know, the Baltimore public open market system has been around for as long as any market system in the country. Um, at its peak, there were 11 open markets. Right now, there's six operating. But the earliest ones uh, were open in the 1760s. Um, we have some in operation still from um, the 1780s. And, um, you know, from about the 1880s until uh, the 1980s or so, they were run by the Comptroller of Maryland. They reverted to the mayor then and are currently run by a nonprofit. We're going to join up with Baltimore Heritage today and tour some of the open markets and share that with you today. All right, so we're with Dean Krimmel. He's our tour guide today, and he's going to take us on our exciting tour. We're, uh, we're, we're here, uh, it's a Baltimore Heritage Tour of uh, four of the six public markets in Baltimore. And we're going to, uh, we're going to gallivant around from Lexington over to uh, Fells Point to see Broadway, shoot up north to northeast to see Northeast Market, go to the west side for Holland's Market, and then come back here to Lexington Market and see it and uh, have lunch. Super exciting. We're really looking forward to it. All right, we're starting the tour here at Lexington Market. Now, we're not going to go in Lexington Market till the end. So uh, that's our bus. Are you excited about going on the tour? Yeah, and I'm excited about riding a school bus, I have to say. I haven't ridden a school bus in years. <laughs> so, as I said, we're going to start the tour at Lexington Market, which is actually right ahead of us. But there was something I wanted to take a video of and share with you before we got on our way. This mural here was actually done by the same guy who did the mural in our stairwell in our house. We're going to kind of see the earliest market. We're going to go to Fells Point, which is the oldest surviving market in Baltimore. Uh, we're going to then shoot up to Northeast, which is the youngest market in Baltimore. And then we're going to go over to Hollands, which is the most recently renovated market, almost open uh, after a renovation. And then we're going to come back to Lexington, where we're going to see the, you know, where you probably have already been, but uh, the, traditionally the biggest of the public markets, at least in, in our lifetime. face of Broadway Market, there are two sheds. They're remnants of what was once a sprawling three-shed um, marketplace that went all the way from Fleet Street to Thames. Uh, 1865, uh, um, there was a two-story market hall, market, market hall built. The second story became a public venue for, for everything from concerts to political meetings to, to weddings and um, the one that survives, there were three built in the uh, markets, and the one that survives is over in Holland's. The market, and, and Broadway is still, the, the North Shed, the South Shed is now a restaurant. It's, it, it was leased to uh, the Atlas Restaurant Group in 2019 and opened after renovation. And that was the first privatization, that was a pure privatization of the public market. Too, the when we see the markets now, they're a reflection of today of our present, of our needs, of, of what the what the um, market association feels uh, communities need. And the same was true in the past. So they, they change slowly. There was a lot of continuity, a lot of persistence of traditions, but there was also change. So now we're gonna shoot up Broadway and go to the young market, the youngest market, uh, Northeast, and we're gonna go inside.
Yeah, it smells amazing in here. It really does. A lot of good food and restaurants. And uh, yeah, it's pretty amazing. I wish I, I lived closer. Hi, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, again, my name is Shannon Rhodes. Uh, you're visiting the Northeast Market. So to give you a quick update on or some information about the market, the market belongs to the city, Baltimore City. It's run by Baltimore Public Markets Corporation. Uh, this is one of the younger markets of the five, I believe, that they still have. Um, it was established and opened in 1885, which makes the market uh, 139 years old, uh, getting ready to turn 140. So that's the market. Um, the markets were established as, uh, if you look at them on a, on a map, the origin of the markets were kind of developing in the locations of Baltimore City, so northeast Baltimore, east Baltimore, west Baltimore, they all had their own markets which actually acted as their grocery stores and marketplace. So moving on to us, um, my grandfather established a business, he actually bought it from a gentleman. Uh, my grandfather started in Baltimore as a, a street a rapper. Uh, he bought the business in 1943, which makes us the longest running business in the Northeast Market at about 81 years now, getting ready to turn 82. I know I look good for my age, but I promise you, I've been here the whole time. So this this market market house is uh, 1865, um, and Cross Street had one as well. So there's this idea that in these neighborhoods, uh, and this is this is a neighborhood by even at this point, it's densely packed. South Baltimore and Southwest Baltimore, the B&O railroads over there, the Bartlett Hayward, the folks who made that uh, those cast iron that we saw in the around the Northeast Market, they have big massive machine shops. It's really really heavily industrialized down here. Um, to the north. To the west, there's nothing here in the 1860s still. If you look at, there's a famous uh, bird's eye view, Saxe bird's eye view, 1869, beautiful, five by eight feet, gorgeous. It, and it's online, if you ever, if you love this kind of stuff, go online, Library of Congress, in 1869, bird's eye view, and you can look at Baltimore in 1869. There's not much there. It's really post-Civil War. So, so this thing gets built because it's a public hall. The market, at the time, when this opened, it was one simple shed. 1836, and it was located at Arlington, the far end. So it was oriented toward downtown, 1836. This thing gets built in the 60s, and then in 1871, the shed behind it gets built. So this, this, uh, you know, again, architectural geeking, geekiness, this is this is the 19th century market building, house, uh, shed. So this, this gets added, and the, they tear down the original 1836, it gets reoriented, reoriented this way. And it's, um, the renovation, the phase one was an exterior cleaning, and that, that ended, that's been done. Phase two, uh, which will open in May, is this, um, of the 12 merchants, there's going to be a couple of the old, the legacy. There's going to be a, a grocery. They're experimenting. They told, the market folks told me they're experimenting with a small grocery store that they will manage. And that's not going to be, they're, they're going to manage it for now, which means what? means nobody would take it on, right? Um, they're going to manage it. And then also some pop-up spaces.
market. This is Charles Miller, who owns, along with his wife, Chris. Hi, Chris. She's working. Um, Sunnyside Cafe. It's delicious. And if you wouldn't mind just saying, like, one minute of um, what you're doing here, your cafe, that'd be great. Thank you so much. Hello everyone, my name is Charles Miller. Uh, like she stated, uh, me and my wife are from Sunnyside Cafe. We've been only operating for about 11 years now. Uh, it's been an amazing journey for us. Uh, we started very, very young, um, and we have grown with the business. Uh, and we have uh, been pleased to come here in the New Mexican market. Uh, we've been here a year in now, uh, and it's been amazing. We love the new ambiance, we love the new traffic, we love the aura of the market. Um, and we are pleased to be here. Uh, our traffic is amazing. Our food speaks for itself. We are a gourmet brunch style cafe. Um, so we serve specialties, uh, all type of breakfast you can name on. Our menu is extensive and delicious. All right, we just finished the market tour. Did you have fun? I did, it was very enlightening. What part did you think was the most fun? Ooh, I just love looking out the windows when, when there's driving happening and seeing urban art and urban blight. Of the bus? Yeah. Yeah, I thought that the, being able to see the city was nice. The history was great. You know, a lot of good information about the markets uh, as they've grown over, over time and uh, changed. You know, I don't think any of them are the original ones. Of course, there's parts that are, specifically the wrought iron columns and stuff, but uh, you know, with the fires that have destroyed many of them, um, you know, they've all been rebuilt probably as recently as the 60s or so. Uh, and even with the Holland's Market being almost brand new again. So, really cool tour. Really cool tour. Yeah. Uh, good time. And, you know, something to do on a Saturday morning. Yeah. All right. I guess that's it. We're going to go home. Bye. Bye.